I was never called in. I was never talked to. I, I asked Dr. Harden, being a lawyer, if they'd ever, if he'd learned in law school, if he ever tried a man without having him appear before the jury or asking him if he's guilty or not or giving the man an opportunity to state his side of it. He said he never had. I, well, you're an educator. You set back the American educational process 100 years. In your knowledge, do both Harden and Tate support the decision? I'm sure that everybody supported it. It takes, it takes an awful lot of support to fire a man with two years left and a 7-4 record. I don't have anything but the highest praise for my players and my coaches, and uh, I really don't have anything else to comment on. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what my coach is going to do, and uh, I, I certainly don't have anything derogatory to say about SMU. Uh, they made the decision. I am upset with the procedure that they used in doing it. I, uh, three weeks ago, if they'd told us it didn't matter whether we beat Arkansas or Baylor or TCU, uh, at least there's a few people around the country that think we're pretty good coaches. We could at least, they'd known we were fired and they could have been offering us a job. I've got a contract and I'll get paid. I don't know what the rest of my people want to do. What was the attitude of the team when you told them yesterday? Well, I told them last night at the evening meal and they, uh, I don't, no one moved. I didn't stir. I told them and I, I walked out. There wasn't anything I could say. And I, but I felt like I needed to share it with them because they'd been hearing rumors and, and in all fairness to them. And I think you see what the youngsters think of not just me, but the entire coaching staff. They, they played a great first half. We substituted in the third quarter everybody that we could. We substituted freely and everybody got to play. It was a great victory and that's the way it should have been. Did it come as a surprise to you that you weren't, you weren't allowed to stay on as athletic director? Well, I didn't even, didn't even think of that. Uh, I've never been as shocked in my life to be fired as a coach. But I'm willing to go along with their decision. They made it. It's like my wife said, honey, if they don't appreciate you any more than that, the good Lord stepped in and you'll be blessed. It'll be something better.